Those cool creatures are velvet swimming crabs. Now these things are amazing. Um, they are savage. They like slash and burn first and ask questions later. But I've heard they're delicious to eat. Anyway guys, I'm Tom Ashton. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going for a catch and cook of velvet swimming crabs. We're going out here in amongst this old pier which you've seen before in some of my other videos. And I happen to know there's loads of really big velvet swimmers. And these animals are savage. I'll try and film them slashing and <laughs> they just attack. They're really bad tempered. They've got bright red eyes. They've got cool sort of blue fuzzy velvet patterns on them. They're really nice animals, but apparently they're really sweet to eat. And I'm going to introduce you to this. This is my new GoPro housing. I've got my underwater lights on tripods that are savage from an old, uh, like arms from an old tripod. And it's got a dome. And I've made this thing out of uh, PVC pipe. To hold it, glued it all together with gorilla glue. So we're going to see if this works. Should allow some nice um, split level shots. See, so the, these are lighting up underwater, underwater structures like anemones and things, and the water line slops around in the middle. And that there's a silica gel pack just to stop any condensation occurring in there. We'll either do the catch and cook tonight on a little beach barbecue down on the beach. Obviously, where else would you do a beach barbecue? Or we'll do it tomorrow sometime. But before we go, say hello. We've got. Crystal here with us today. Hi. She's got her dry suit on. Okie dokie, let's go have some fun. The brown crab, not the velvet swimmer, which we were looking for. Let's go find some of them. <laughs> This is a velvet swimming crab. It's not a very big one, but it's raging. Look at it. Red eyes. And they bite. It's not big enough to keep. I'm not going to keep this one. Just give me a show you what we're after. See it's right on the leg of the pier. That's a nice one. That's what we're after.
no way to cash these without pain. What do you think? Grab number three. Get really sorry, big is it? No. Uh. That was fun. <laughs> kind of scenic down there. Right, that's a velvet swimmer sea with the big red eyes. They're real beautiful claws. Look at those patterns on them. And these swimming fins, that's how they get their name. These back legs have got fins so they can swim. That's quite a nice size one that. That's about as big as they get. I've got one other one which will do. Not as big but it's got some good gnashes on it and it's got barnacles so it'll be nice and full. So we'll take two. Didn't want to take too many because I don't actually know if we like them yet. This is just to try them. Right, well, we've lit a nice little barbecue down on the beach. The sun's going down. It's actually getting pretty dark now, so we're going to be eating in the dark, but that's okay. We've got some torches and stuff. This is seawater. I'm just bringing it to the boil on a bag of charcoal. We'll clear all this away when we're gone. We're just gonna go, it's steaming quite nicely. Ah, it's hot, it's hot. Right, in you go lads. It's starting to rain, it's getting dark, so. Right, we're gonna put these crabs in. Velvet swimmers, here we go. Claw. Just gonna use a plate. Now, I don't think this is going to take long. I think, uh, I don't know, a couple of minutes, just until they're bright red, bright orange, really. Well, they're, they're pretty much done now. Forgot to bring any tongs, so they're just going to get them out with a fork. I hope you can see this, it's still pretty dark, but they're now bright red. There you go, that's a nice claw. I mean, they're not huge crabs, these, so there's going to be a bit of uh, picking involved. So, as usual, just bend that bit back. Really sharp. Yeah. Mm. It's a good flavour. Look at that, look, can you see that? It's a huge chunk of meat in there. I mean, it's a little crab, but look at it, it's jam full of meat. Mm. It's not crazy sweet like I've heard, but it's um mm, lovely big nuggets of meat. Mm. Let's see what else we've got. Nice crab seeds actually. Just using the leg, just breaking into it like that. The amount of meat in there. Nice big nuggets. Look at that. Big chunks. Mm. So it's not... Mm. It's good meaty crab. It's really firm. Just wish they were bigger. Imagine how dangerous these would be if they were bigger though. That's savage. I'm going to save this last one for Chris. I'm just going to have a quick look inside the shell. What's inside here? So I'll fit, I'll, looks like a regular crab to me. There's all the usual, there's the dead men's fingers, a bit of green, green stuff. So in here we've got a fork, you've got the usual brown meat. It's everything like a normal brown crab, so I'm just going to have a little taste of that. 
Brown meat never looks pretty, but... Oh, yeah. It's got all the flavour that has. Ooh. Eat that gunky stuff out the inside of the shell there, look. I think if you could be bothered, you could prepare all these and get all that lovely chunky meat out. And that brown stuff, mix it all together. Oh yeah. So the green shore crabs taste like chicken. This doesn't quite taste like chicken, it's a bit sweeter. But it's not that full blown flavour of a brown crab. It's a good crab. But it's not a brown crab. So we've got a nice little barbecue going here, we've got a few nice tasty things after this. I'm going to finish off these crabs. Um, I hope you like that little video. We're up here in Westeros <laughs> in the Scottish Highlands again. Beautiful day out there driving. Okay, it was about half an hour out there driving because it was really cold. Um, velvet swimming crabs, absolutely delicious. If you get a chance to eat a nice big velvet swimming crab, I say take it because they're really common. They're all around the UK. You can get them yourself. I didn't get too many injuries from catching these, so I was probably just being a bit overly dramatic. So they're all right. Velvet swimmers, guys, recommended. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, do like and subscribe, and I will see you next time for more fun in the sea. And thank you, Crystal, for filming. Cracking job as usual. Cheers, guys. See you later. Bye.